let's talk about soil management. We all speak about terroir, the soil, the ground, organic, chemical, biodynamic. But where we where we start, it's here, the soil, the ground. Before anything, uh, before spraying against the mildew, pesticide, everything, the soil. So different technique of uh, soil management. Some uh, spray herbicide, you kill everything. Some plow, some put the grass. When sh when thing is sure, if you have a lot of herbicide into the ground, it's will be in the water system and I do not want to drink water with the herbicide. So we are all like this. We are not crazy. We live there. Our children live there. So at the moment in Champagne we all target on soil management and I think within 10 years the herbicide will be forbidden and maybe it's a good thing. But what are, so we try to, to do many ways. Some plow directly the soil but when you plow you cut the, the roots. So some say they force the roots to go deep it's not true. They select, they, they just cut the, the, the roots to go horizontal, so they select the roots keeping uh, going down, and generally the mortality of, uh, of uh, the vineyard is very high. Uh, we will see in another vineyard that we have to substitute, renew permanently because the mortality is very, very high. It's not very, it's not sustainable. Some grow grass to avoid herbicide just scratch under the row so you do not have herbicide but now you have grass and the grass is in competition with the vineyard the uh, we cut uh, we are in competition and uh, i will show you some sample what's the effect of competition on uh, between wine and grass So let's start. This vineyard, we are in AI. It's not one of mine, but uh, this one, uh, the grass was uh, put in place five years ago. Uh, me, I have some uh, close here, we will see after, just three years ago. But after five years, what I can notice, you can come with me. The vegetation did not grow a lot. A lot, uh, lot of branches did not grow high. So vegetation was slow. You can see the wood. In French, we say it's not outé. The wood should be more like this, brown. And so that, what does that mean? The vineyard did not make reserve. Very few leaves. Very few leaves are gone. Uh, and the leaves at the solar panel, so no energy, no food. What will happen? The harvest of this vineyard this year, next year, nothing. When I say nothing, not economically, you can't live without it. Uh, with it. So you have a, when the next generation of grapes will come, I know exactly. Uh, you need to target, uh, you call it the buds, the, the bourgeons. The bourgeons will, will start from the reserve. When we, this winter, when you see the next, uh, the next grapes, the next branches will come from the, from the woods, the own reserve. It will not come from the root. So when the vegetation will start next year with the, at the beginning of the rise of the temperature, the only food the vineyard will have will be what it's in the wood. And when you see wood like this, you have nothing. Absolutely no reserve. Ah, see, you, you can see it's not brown. It's still a green, uh, yellow, sorry. And uh, it breaks immediately. You have absolutely no reserve. The, the sieve have to go down. You see this? How, how can he prune? So now you have to cut it, start another one. The, the grapes only come from the new branches, not the old one. Now, now we are in one of mine. We are just neighbor, close to the next one. So the terroir is, is the same. Eh? We are in the place in Aïe called Loiselu. So, so, but this year the, the grass was only three years ago. Only three years ago. But what, uh, me, I am not happy, but uh, come, come closer. See the wood. The density of leaves is higher. The three years after. But, and see now, do you see the yellow one? Yes, just on top. My vegetation reaches the, the wires on top. And now it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's brown up to the top. I have reserve for next year, but what I noticed this year for 2015, I just noticed the yield collapse. Well, it was, I do not know if it was because of the leak of water and the humus did not go deep 
is it that or is it because it's the first symptom uh, and I think it will be that I do not want my vineyard to come like the next one the yield of my neighbor I know it he's crying and me hopefully I do not manage all the vineyards the same way thanks to all the vineyards I, uh, in a way I make a quality substitutions the other vineyard uh, grow for this one here the yield i was four tons per hectare i had nothing and usually i, I did the grass three years ago to limit the, the production because it was over yield usually here i was picking 15 or 20 tons per hectare there is something wrong oh, wow. So what I decide for next year, I will get rid of the grass. I will, I will. So you can see, I, I just plow now uh, to to kill the grass. But you can see my soil. Huh? It's deep. It's black. It's. Uh, oh, I have plenty organic matter. Uh, I do not use chemical fertilizer. I forgot to say about the fertilization. I see the soil management the herbicide. But uh, if you put chemical fertilizer, the chemical are horizontal. So the roots of the vineyard will be very close to the surface. Don't speak about terroir. It will be like hydroponic uh, tomatoes. You have absolutely no, no flavor. You need at least the, the, the roots to go a little deep. So we say vineyard go 30 meters deep. No way, not in Champagne. So, bon, a few, a few meters it's possible. You have some very tiny ones who try to collect water. But uh, most of the, the roots g uh, grow 50 centimeters under 20 so if you plow deep some are trying now to plow very deep but so the roots go along the row so to avoid the competition of the grass some put the fertilizer just under the row it's another way you say you don't want to feed your grass you feel your vineyard here but after you have plenty grass just under the row so it's a mess <laughs> and how can you plow like this every 10 centimeters so you grow with machine you you try you limit and after you have to you you, you need plenty workers doing by hand and we are not in China, we are in France. A worker costs 30 uh, euro per hour. So it, it's difficult to be cost sustainable. My, my, and my workers have to do like this by hand. Okay, yes, we will not drink pesticide for an unknown risk. But me now, I know the risk. It will be their back. I, uh, now I plow the soil. My workers just can't use, uh, we have some uh, device with free, free wheels. So now our workers can work sit, sitting. You plow, you count. So now for sure at 50, 60, now they have problem of backs. And this is a risk we know. And now at the moment for our environment, we have in French, we have this precaution system. Maybe there is a risk. No one know, but maybe, maybe we do not know. So we do nothing. And to avoid this no, this potential potential risk that no one knows now we are breaking the backs of my uh, of my workers me i don't want i want they to be steady i don't want to be a broken man uh when 70 i do not want so uh, this is a uh, uh, environmentally friendly the insects alive yes but i have to think of men my workers were the first one in bon, but what, whatever now the grass i take it out and uh, next year i will try just uh, bon, mechanical mechanical i do not want herbicide uh, but i just will scratch just the five centimeters just to limit to limit the growth that's what i will try next year and what when things we know for sure, you just can't manage one vineyard like another. There is no recipe. Each spot is different. Now, we, we, I, I spoke to you about mortality. Just after three years, because we, uh, we manage the soil mechanically, you can see now some are missing. You see the, the stickers now, but because when we plow just even five, five centimeters, we cut the roots. We cut the roots. So, in a way, I did not force the roots to go deep. The vineyard died. 
So you select the the vineyard. We have who do not have the roots who not cut yet, but one day it will be. Uh, can you leave if I cut for you uh, one meter of intestine? Yes, but the, it will not help me. So the, the vineyard have to have to eat. But whatever, in a way, just three years after, just three years, I just saw some symptom. But we will go in other places where I do not see and I continue. I will show you. Another way of soil management. We are still on those three vineyards. We are, the, how many distance did we move from the car? 10 meters, all the three vineyards. So another way to avoid grass, you only to you struggle the grass by putting a lot of compost. You have a lot of wood chips. You put a lot of wood chips. So now a lot of gardeners do that. So with all the wood chips, the grass is a struggle, do not grow. So after you just have to manage under. So yeah, this one spray herbicide just under. And uh, but at, at least it reduced by 40 or 50 percent the use of herbicide. That's what I was doing before I, uh, uh, I was putting grass. But on some vineyard, I do it when it's very steep to avoid erosion. But it's another way. But what you can see, the wood, now it's more than one centimeter large. I have difficulties to break it. I, uh, compared to the other one, not out I just can't break it. This one will have grapes next year, for sure.